Uh, can you tell us about the upcoming vinyl release? Yeah, so it's, um, we decided to do something a bit different, so it's called O, instead of O to Thinking, as different artwork. It's just my, we wanted to, I just wanted to select a bunch of songs from O to Thinking that, that sum up the record. And there's some really, some of my favourite songs aren't even on it, but it's like five songs, the, the singles plus 985, which I really liked, and um, that's it. And then, yeah, and then like four or five on side A, and then side B is the three B sides from me, another one, uh, if you don't want to be with me, and then Pretty Little Pennies, and then another one. So it's like, it's missing five tracks from the real album, but it's its own thing. So people actually, I think they'll want to buy it and, and have it, and have it as a cool, just another cool thing to the collection. Do you want to tell your fans when they should expect it for maybe some who haven't, didn't get a chance to tune into your concert window uh, yeah. concert? I, I don't know yet. Record store day, I think. I don't know what day that is. But that's 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 the idea, so... And it'd be really, I think it'll, it'll be, you know, there's a good chance that it's thinking is going to chart. So I think we've got a good chance of, of charting with the vinyl too, which would be great as well, because I think a lot of people will pre-order it and buy it, so... Is it going to be a limited edition? Yeah. Um, limited edition in terms of that I'm sure we'll only ever sell a thousand copies of it, and... The only reason we'll stop printing it is because people won't want it anymore. But I think it'll, yeah, it'll kind of be a limited edition thing, I guess. But you'll be able to buy it on the website too. But it's, yeah, it, it won't be in in stores or anything, or it won't be in um, anything other than like a, a personal, you know, product you can buy online or at shows. Okay. Yeah. Um, what do you think the most challenging? What What do you think is the most challenging uh, thing about the music industry today? Um, I don't know really. For me, it's just it's uh, the, the challenge. The challenges I have are all personal. My own shit, you know, like my own personal self and playing music and my trying to write the best songs I can and um, and in, enjoying the live shows and putting on a great show. That's all I really worry about. I don't really... The music industry is always in it. I, you know, I don't worry about the music industry really that, that I don't think about it that much. You know, um, the music industry is like a... There's some really wonderful people in the music industry. Um, I have some wonderful people I'm involved with, but the rest of it is they're just it's just a weird world that doesn't really relate to the music I find a lot of the time. It's quite a lot of people who just bumble around and somehow that they're they're in control of what we hear. It's a bit frightening really. <clears throat> but uh, there's also some really great people who are just really enthusiastic about, about making sure that good music comes to the fore. So I don't really have an opinion on it. You know, if it was the '60s right now, I'm like, maybe I'd be saying something different. I'd probably own this house instead of staying here, you know, um, staying here temporarily. So, um, yeah. Well, yeah. leading into that, what is your definition of success? Well, I, you know, I always think about what I would, if I was 18 and I was doing what I did, you know, 10 years later, 10, 9, nine years later, 11 years later, what I would... Uh, what I would think about what I was doing, and I would bite your hand off. I would, I would sell my soul to have what I have right now. So, I guess that I'm, you know, that's success in, in in a sense. I'd like things to get a little bit better, so that everybody who worked for me got paid what they deserve. Um, and you know, I'd I'd love to be able to to travel more, but you know, I get to do what I love doing. And, um, and I, you know, I make a living from it, and I could get to call myself a musician. That's all I ever really wanted, really. So I just want to keep. If I can keep making records and keep performing live and keep an audience, and that would be wonderful. And I'd like like it to get better, definitely. But I don't feel like I want to be. You know, I don't want to be Mumford and Sons. Um, 
I don't need to be playing to 15, 20,000 people. If I could play to, you know, more than what I do now, that'd be wonderful. And people like my music, that I would consider that a success, and anything else would just be a bonus, I guess. It's a great answer. But that's but that's not because that's not that I'm not interested in making, you know, that 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 mentality doesn't stop me being um, uh, like exploring further things. If there's an opportunity to play on TV in front of twenty five thousand people right now, I would do it in a second. I'd really enjoy it. But I just you know winning a Grammy would that be great? Yeah, it'd be great. Give my gift to give for my mum, and I'd really enjoy it. And it'd be cool. But I don't think about it, you know. That's I would accept whatever comes, but that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm into. Yeah. All right. Did you want to say anything to your fans for um, no, just before thanks, this new album? Just, yeah, just thanks so much. We pre-ordered it, and if you didn't, I don't know where the fuck you've been, but we've been pushing it pretty hard. Um, but thanks so much to everybody. It's, I really appreciate the support and I'll see you soon and I can't wait to play for you all and I'm really proud of this record and I'm starting work on the next record already so we'll do it all, all over again next year, it'll be great. Alright, thank you Bobby. Thank you.